Hey goofballs, and welcome to episode 459 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, it was my mom's birthday, and we did a cupcake game show. And in this episode, it is actually the three-year anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Isn't that crazy? Like, this game still kind of seems like pretty new. Oh my god, like... That means my, like, ch my channel's three years old. Oh my god, like, like, this, this, oh my god. I have enjoyed being a YouTuber so much. This has gone so fast. It's already three years I've been a YouTuber. Oh my god. Anyway, let's start and get our island wide brophy knee from Isabel. Hello, Isabel. Oh, look at the orange tulips. Those are, like, from... You, like, the the flowers are always different depending on what season it is, and it's so cool to see the be tulips again. Right. Hello, Isabel. Good evening, everyone. Huh? Right now on Jacktown, it's 7.49 p.m. on Monday, March 20th, 2023. Right. I don't have any big news oh, to share really? with you all today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. <coughs> it's too bad they don't have, like, a celebration for the anniversary of the island being happening. Earlier today, a clump of bamboo caught my eye, and boy did that hurt, and it reminded me of a piece of horticultural trivia. Eh? Did you know that this time of year is perfect for harvesting fresh bamboo or young spring bamboo? Huh? Which also reminds me to remind you to get crafting and enjoy some of this season's DIY projects! Yay! And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Anyway, I should probably explain what we will be doing for uh, the three-year anniversary of Animal Crossing after these messages. Here at the museum, we have many fish. For example, the Red Snapper. The sea bass, or my personal favorite, the subscribe fish. Oh, that reminds me, if you subscribe to Jack's Junction, then you won't miss out on any cool videos. But do beware, some of the videos in the subscription feature bugs. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you, Blathers. Anyway, so... Uh, usually for these big milestones, like, uh, anniversaries, I usually do an island tour. However, for year three of the game, we didn't really do much on our island. We really just, uh, mostly did stuff on the Happy Home Paradise Island. So instead of doing an island tour, we're going to go back on a trip through memory lane and uh, look at some, uh... I islands of the past. Uh, I mean, vacation homes of the past. Anyway, mail time. Right, let's see what we have in the mail. We have, whoa, we have a lot of stuff. Okay, we got two from Mom, something from Freckles, and something from Sky. Let's start off with Sky. So, Sunflower, I was thinking, I saw something in the store that I liked, but I thought it would look so much better on you. I went ahead and bought this because I want to see if I'm right. If you do like it, I'd love to have you model it for me. Let me know, Sky. Next up, Freckles. Let's do the Freckles letter. You like furniture, Super Jack? Oh my gosh! I bought this furniture because it was totally glam. Then I realized I had no room for it. You want it? Furniturally yours, Freckles. I like how she just says, "You want it?" <laughs> like. <laughs> She, it's a letter. It doesn't I don't even get any input on this. Like, it just, you want it too bad? Here we go. Anyway, Mom. My dear Jack, I blow onto my icy hands to warm them. It doesn't work, but it's something to do. If I stitch fast enough, maybe I'll be able to feel my fingers again. I miss the sun. Mom. Okay. Spring is actually coming. I, I think this letter is a little outdated. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, I'm a terrible son. <laughs> anyway, other letter from Mom. My dear Jack, like a cheap candle, the snow is melting fast, replaced by lovely flowers and plants. Spring sure knows how to make an entrance. Two can play the melting game. Mom. 
Alright, that is cool. Anyway, let's see. Uh, what did we get? Oh, no, no, no. I'm all out of room in my pockets. Anyway, we got... Uh... A career jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And we got a cute tea table. And we got... Mom's embroidery. And... Uh, Mom's candle set. Okay, cool. Thanks for dumping all your crap on me, villagers and mom. Right, here we are in the store. There is nothing interesting in the store. Goodbye. Sorry, Sky. I'm going to have to to drop your career jacket in order to catch this fish. Because I want to catch this fish. Oh, come on. Come on, catch the fish. Oh, there. What is it? It is a... Ulu Flunder! Oh, look, Diva's thinking about something. What is it? Hey, Funky! So I've been stewing on something. I'm thinking of leaving the island. I'm thinking of telling you to shut up and you're never leaving here. Diva, no. Good. Everyone's awesome here, but it's not that. But I just kind of feel stuck. What do you think? Fish party? <laughs> well, you are stuck. I'm never letting you leave. I don't want you to go. Well, when you put it like that, I didn't realize you were one of my stalker fans. I what? didn't know you cared that much. No. Maybe I just got to cool my debts. I'm always uprooting on a whim. I should try settling for a while. Just remember, I gave you an out fish party. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Celeste. Hello, Celeste. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, good evening. Aren't the stars just exquisite tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Well, have a splendid rest of the night, and away shall. All right, I have a full pocket, so I can't receive anything from her. Uh, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, uh, freckles. I'm gonna have to put your cute seat, st st whatever. It's How called dare down. you? Hootie toot! I almost forgot. <laughs> I came across a recipe for an astronomical project in a book and jotted it down. Mm -mm. I would like you to have it. Do let me know if you try building it, would ya? Okay. What is it? What do you think it is? Well, have a splendid rest of the night. I know I shall. Right. It is a, a starry garland. Hey, it's new. Oh. Well, how about that? Anyway, uh... Ooh. <coughs> Announcement. Um... March 24th, Sky. Hey, everyone. On March 24th, we'll be saying happy birthday to Sky. Okay. Oh, I missed this one. Why uh, is February nineteenth important? I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna Well I ignore hope it's that. Not Freckles' birthday. <laughs> How dare you Yeah Right, here we are at the island. Hello hello Nico. How you doing? Well hello stranger! Everything good, Jack? If you're here to work, go check in with Lottie first. I think he's a little mad that we haven't been on the island in a really long time. Yeah, you were fired three times. It's okay, she hired you. <gasps> oh my god, it's Brofina. <laughs> it's actually Brofina. Make the whole joke about the island-wide Brofina thing, but... <laughs> Are you calling me fat? No, I... Why would you say it was an island wide? It's just too hurtful. Like, I was talking about Brofina once, and then. I know! I've heard you talking about me on the announcements. I've. It's horrible. I was talking about Brofina once, and then I had Brofina on the mind, and then when I was saying getting our island wide uh, broadcast accent, said island wide Brofina, and that's. Okay. So. We will be, uh. The kids in school made that my nickname. Okay, just shut up. I'm. Uh, we're gonna be looking at some past vacation homes, right? So wait, what was the first vacation home made in the third year of Animal Crossing? Because I want to try to stick to 
only showing off stuff we did in the third year of Animal Crossing. Okay, so it turns out the first vacation home we made in the third year of Animal Crossing is Tarantula Death. So yeah, let's go visit that one. Here we are at Tarantula Death. Look at all the tarantulas. Here we are at Diana's vacation home. Anyway, uh... Yeah. There's a bunch of tarantulas. Hello, what's your face? How you doing? <laughs> Jack, what can I do for you? No doy. Uh... Uh... How are things? How's your tarantula death going? This vacation home is even fabulous to look at on the outside. I simply adore it, no doy. Yeah. Okay, cool story. <laughs> it doesn't really look like you adore it that much. Like, look, look. She's kind of, like, worried about the tarantulas. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I kind of feel bad for, for her. But then again, I mean, like, it's tarantulas. It is the greater good. And here's the inside. Just more tarantulas. Yeah, this vacation home wasn't very, uh... There wasn't very much to making this vacation home. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. I will be skipping over four because it wasn't really good. And, uh, yeah, all it was was just, like, four of a lot of things. So we're gonna, we're gonna go on to Egg Paradise, starring the ever-creepy Zipper T. Bunny. Oh, like, I forgot, like, <coughs> I was not really bad at creating vacation homes. This kind of looks, this, this looks chill, except for the obnoxious, brightly colored eggs. Hello, hello Zipper T. Bunny, how you doing? What is it? Need me for something? I could use the distraction. Oh, okay, I'm just, how are things? I'm a cutie patootie bun bun, right? Right, so why are kids, just a small number, mind you, terrified of me? Oh, yeah, he's actually acknowledging that people are think he's creepy. Anyway, oh, what is that? Is that a zipper? What is it? <laughs> Need me for something? How are things? It's a distraction. Eat too many candy <laughs> eggs? No. Rest and digest in the yard of your very own vacation home. Like I will right after you leave. Oh. What a sad existence. Like... He's just a guy in a costume, and even when people come over to his house, he still has to keep up the act that he's a bunny, and he puts the costume on, and he's clearly miserable. Actually, we don't even know if it's a he. I, oh my god, I feel really bad for Zipper. Anyway, uh, let's see. Right, I just added a bunch of obnoxious stuff. Like, I'm assuming this is a grown... A, a grown adult, and I kind of just gave him a bunch of kid stuff. Like, colorful kid stuff. Great! That's just what I wanted. Well, I remember I had a nightmare about you once, so yeah, I guess this is karma. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot I did this. The Zipper Tea Shrine. Yeah, anyway, on to the next house. Super Crossing Bros! Da 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 da! Right. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can beat the level. Um, excuse me, Miss uh, Princess Peach wannabe, but you're 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 <laughs> you're not supposed to be here, All right? Oh, let's see if I can beat the level. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get the mushroom. I'm gonna get the mushroom. Uh, oh, can can I click on the mushroom, please? I don't think I can click on the mushroom. Okay. Oh, I can find the hidden one up. It's not really that well hidden. I can go over here. Oh, dodge the Koopa, Koopa shells. Get some more coins. And... Yay! And now let's go into the castle. Oh, very scary. Look at all the thwomps. Right, I have to get past them fast. Oh, oh that one didn't go off. Okay. Try to get the one up. Oh, get away from there. Okay. And... Oh, get past that thwomp. Oh, that was a close one. Oh. Uh, they're not really moving. <laughs> right. Oh, get past the swamp! No, it's still not doing anything. Excuse me, Mr. You just need you needed to get out of the way. You need to get out of the way. Get out of the way. And 
I'm playing this level. Alright, we'll get past the turtle shells, and I beat the level. Oh, in order to save Princess Peach, I gotta defeat a... Trouser? Trizer? Triceratopser? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stock up into mushrooms and one-ups. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on, let, let's fight. Trouser. Tra trouser. Uh, oh, I got past him. Yay, I beat him. Yay, I saved Princess Peach. Hello. Thanks for my awesome home. I want to give you a little token of my appreciation <laughs> for all your hard work. What is it? Ooh. Ooh, it's a rustic stone wall. It's a rustic stone wall. You love it, right? Sure, I'll go with that. So it turns out I made a mistake. Uh, I found out for well, browsing through the past episodes, I made a mistake. So apparently Tarantula Death wasn't the first one. The reason... Uh, well, yeah, Tarantula Death wasn't the first one. But I just thought that going... F so the reason... Okay, so I updated Tarantula Death to add more tarantulas. So I didn't realize that some of the ones that came before this were actually done in year three. So let's go back and do some of those. So uh, here we are at the next one, the zoo. So as you can see right here, we have a snail exhibit with a snail. Look at that, super cool. <clears throat> and if we go up here, we have a butterfly exhibit. Um, The butterflies are not staying in their exhibit and instead flying around but hey look there's one in the exhibit oh and it just disappeared okay <laughs> anyway here's the spider crab exhibit uh the rosalina batassi beetle exhibit and the goliath beetle exhibit yeah <coughs> this is a pretty cool little just little zoo oops i dropped my controller <laughs> I just dropped it anyway on the inside we have <coughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> a bunch of exhibits. Um, excuse me? I, I don't think you should be in the exhibit. I don't think... Uh, that is like, you know, that's like a, a venomous arachnid, right? Like, you really shouldn't be bringing your child in the exhibit, too. Like, okay. <laughs> so, you should be in the kangaroo exhibit over here. There, there... <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Anyway, so in here we have uh, uh, a flamingo exhibit, a wild dog exhibit, and the tarantula and scorpion exhibit, and the kangaroo exhibit. Hello. How you doing? All right, let's talk to her. Thank you so much for your help, Jack. You're welcome. I couldn't be happier with my vacation home, and I couldn't have done it without you. I hope you'll accept a small token of my appreciation. Right. Oh no, you don't have room for anything else right now. Would you mind terribly coming back later? Terribly. Oh, look at all my pokey I got. Uh, okay, maybe I should have had more space in my pockets for this. Anyway, uh, <coughs> yeah, on to the next house. Uh, King of Fun, what do you think the next house is? What do I think the next house is? It is, is it mine? My house. It's my vacation home. That's no. the next one. That's the next one that you should do. Uh, King of Fun Mad Tea Party was created in year two of Animal Crossing. So. Oh! Yeah. I remember you made that for me for my own birthday, didn't you? Yeah. <gasps> anyway. It's my own birthday again today. Did you know that? Yes, it's So your happy own. anniversary to me. It's your own birthday. Yeah, that too. Huh. Congratu congratulations. Anyway, the next house is Dazoo 2. The second in the highly popular zoo franchise. Here we are at Freya's vacation. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, Freya. I, I don't think you're supposed to be in what in the exhibit. Okay, there we go. Anyway, to the left we have a bell cricket exhibit, but of course the bell cricket is always super annoying and not in the exhibit. Wait, where is it? There. Why aren't you in your exhibit? So annoying. Anyway, over there we have the uh, stump bug and ants exhibit, but there are also butterflies in there who are supposed to be in this exhibit, the butterfly exhibit. And over here we have some uh, the, the the beetle exhibit. However, 
one of the beetles that are supposed to be in this exhibit is currently in this exhibit. This this is a, this was this one was kind of a disaster. <laughs> anyway, this is exhibit is supposed to be for only the Atlas beetle and the blue weevil beetle, but the saw stack also decided, you know, what, I'm going to be in this exhibit. Anyway, here we have the the horseshoe crabs, which are actually being good and just staying there. Thank you, horseshoe crabs. Stop! Just don't get in the Rossetti exhibit. Rossetti is a highly dangerous animal. You you do... Okay, whatever. Anyway, that's the Rossetti exhibit for Rossetti. <laughs> and we have some snapping turtles, uh, some lava monsters. This is a highly educational exhibit, by the way. And of course we have the fan favorite exhibit, the seaweed exhibit. Wow. I did a really good job on that seaweed exhibit. Okay. Say what you want about everything else in this video about the vacation homes, but I think I really did a good job on the seaweed exhibit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> upstairs we have a... An aquarium with a bunch of fish. Yeah, this is this is kind of nice. There's a bunch of fish and yeah. Next home, King of Fun. What do you think the next home is? Is is is, uh, is it my home? It's not your home. W well, okay then. Is it the uh, Print of Fun's home? It's not the Print of Fun's home. What? Okay. Is it a shrine to roundness? Because I've always wanted to see that. Uh, the shrine to roundness was in year two. <laughs> oh well, I don't remember. How about uh, uh? It's my messy manner. My messy manner. Yeah. You made yourself a vacation home. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. How many people in this island are you going to tell them to shut up? Well, technically, we've gone to different islands every time I've told somebody to shut up, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, we got a bunch of messy stuff. Yeah. Aw, oh, look at this place. He hasn't cleaned this place in, like, years, I think. Right. Ah, huh. all, just all day he watches, uh, Lom and Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the best show on television. Anyway, next house, what do you think it is? King of Fun. Uh, the next one over, Frog. Oh, wow, you're right. Oh, what all the frog? Oh, that's a valuable piece of real estate so, right there. <laughs> yeah, so Panchetti, she was a villager that I absolutely hated in New Leaf. For some reason, I don't even know why I hated her, I just did. So, yeah, I made her a bad vacation home full of locusts and froggy chairs. You're a grudge holder. Yeah. Oh, and the inside, of course. <laughs> of course. Right. It's time. Oh, I was going to put her in the chair, but <laughs> she did he run in the chair. No, 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 no. Get back in the chair. Okay. It's time for the sacrifice. While well, she is reading a magazine about KK's greatest hits, it's time to sacrifice Panchetti! Yay! <laughs> right. Oh, hi, 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 Panchetti. Anyway, um, <coughs> uh, right, we need to. Well, what did I do? Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. okay. And now we shall sacrifice Panchetti! Yay! Oh, look, it's happening! It's happening, it's happening, it's happening! Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that! It worked! Panchetti is dead. Fine. Oh, now she's back. Okay. Next vacation home. The next house is my smart study space, which I immediately made the jump to Hogwarts. I decided, you know what, that would be... That, that, uh, that, okay, yeah. Well, it's close, you're learning to be, he's learning to be a wizard, anyway. Oh, look, magic. Wow. Oh, look, it's the Tri-Wizard Cup. 
Yeah. I, I don't really know how to commentate a lot. King of Fun, say something funny. Nick Meliamas! Uh. Oh no, I dropped my controller! Oh no, oh dang. I'm gonna See, pick, I'm good pick at it magic. Up again. I'm definitely, definitely good at magic. Uh, okay, so. We have the painting, and yeah, I have to say a password to get into the. Uh. Oh, it's one of the haunted ones, too. Right, right, I forgot about that. I have to say a password to get in. Uh, Expelliarmus. That's not the password today. Uh, that too bad, I'm just breaking in. Anyway, there's Ooh, no one I'm here. I'm one of the scary goats to come after you. Anyway, so here is the Defense Against the Dark Arts class, where we're learning about the one that's music. Dressed, the one that's dressed as Zipper D Bunny. That's a scary goat. Yeah. Right, and dark art is bad. Yeah, right. Anyway, over here we have uh, the uh, bathrooms, and we have the bathroom ghost. Ooh, very scary. Oh, yeah, that one's very scary. <laughs> yep, terrifying. <laughs> anyway, uh... That leaves us to Gravity Crossing. It's Gravity Falls, but in Animal Crossing. I'm running out of commentation. King of Fun, you need to commentate faster. Blah, 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 blah. Who is that? Who is that, Nan? No, that's Grunkle Stan. Grunkle Nan? G sure, we'll go with that. I, I just did it because the, the goat from Gravity Falls. But... Right. Anyway, uh, yeah. I've I, seen I, that show in a long time. I binged Gravity Falls and I immediately said, okay, I want to do this, but in Animal Crossing. Okay, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just like, kind of a re... I don't really have much to say about this one. It's just recreating some of the stuff from Gravity Falls, but in Animal Crossing. Anyway. Is it the Mystery Shack? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, even Grunkle Nan agrees. Anyway, uh... On to the next house. On to the next. How many of these are we doing? Uh, all of them of the year, because there's not that many we did this year, it turns okay. out. We didn't play this game that much this year. This is true. We, you were playing other games. Yeah. Kind of hurt my feelings, but that's okay. Anyway. I got to play a couple of them. Animal Crossing Nostalgia. So this one was just one to, to try and look as, <laughs> like, to try and be as nostalgic as possible. Like, just a simple, very basic nature-y one. The uh, traditional red house that you would start off at in, in some of the Animal Crossing games. And uh, a recreation of the uh, opening uh, thing in Animal Crossing. Like, the opening... place the the place where production the yeah the oh no i didn't mean to kill rover okay okay okay, okay. there we go um the, the 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 place no 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 okay just put up the picture what, what, of what i was trying to recreate yeah i was trying to recreate that from city folk anyway we also have some memorabilia like um Welcome Horizons, like so, so, some of the memorabilia from the past of the Animal Crossing series, like Welcome Horizons that represents Animal Crossing New Horizons, this shell box playing uh, city fo uh, uh, that's playing the city song to represent city folk, the Pitfall Seed, which made it into Smash Brothers, the Coelacanth, which is the main fish, and over here all of the rover-themed items. Can, can you please help me, King of Fun? I'm really... Okay. I'm, uh, this has been going on for a long time, and I don't really know what to say. I didn't know how many you were going to all of these buildings. I well, thought you were just going to go to the highlight. How well, many are left? Nine. Nine? Well, we better go fast! For Lottie's vacation home, I decided to have a vacation home with it all. Oh, look at all this stuff. It has everything. Wow, how cool. 
And there's a rainbow behind it. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that this place had a rainbow. That that that, that was one of the selling points for this vacation home. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I just put literally everything, even the moon. Alright. And a bunch of pictures of her on the wall. Yeah, I, I, I... Can you tell that I live for chaos, King of Fun? Can you tell that? I've known that for a <laughs> long time. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> oh my god. Money, 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 money. I forgot about this. How we were talking about how she was like a little greedy, little grubby dirt bag, wasn't she? She, she hogged most of the money despite me doing all of the work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I did that. That's I, that kind of caught me off guard. I forgot I did that. Anyway, Museum 2.0 featuring Blathers eating a, a ice flavored ice popsicle. <laughs> like blue? What flavor would that be? Like you don't really see blue that blue often. Berry, blue raspberry. Anyway, here we are at Blathers Vacation Home. And of course, being the kind, compassionate soul I uh, I am, I added a bunch of bugs too, flying around. I'm sure he just loves them. Anyway, this one's just kind of like a a nice little museum with Island stuff. Uh, Vacation home blathers is very chill regarding bugs. Yes. Anyway. Well, he wasn't in the episode. <laughs> right. Oh, right. I kind of had a backstory about him trying to bring back the... I don't even remember. Of him trying to, like, work on bringing back the ancient creatures or something. I kind of forgot what... I, I feel like I created a backstory of why this is here. Why this skull in a tank is here, but... I kind of forgot it. <laughs> right, we got a bunch of really cool uh, treasures, a nice bed, a wall full of artwork. <laughs> I wonder if I took the time to make sure all the artwork was real on the wall. <laughs> you could have some fakes there. Well, the real ones are in the museum. Huh, right. And up here is... Um... A bunch of fossils. Right, he, he says in the dialogue about his personal collection. So this would be his personal collection of uh, dinosaur bones. Anyway, what 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 house is next, King of Fun? What do you think? Let's see. Um, uh, Just say anything. Anything. Eh, you're wrong. It's Yo-Ho Pirate House Yo-Ho. Right. Here we are. It's a tropical island. We got Cap'n, the other one, the other one, and the old one. It be the Cap'n family. Yarg. Right, we have a nice little living room with sea cucumbers. Cap'n always did like his cucumbers, didn't he? And of course some quiche, because we all know pirates love quiche. And yeah, this one just this one's like a normal house, really. A whole family of pirates, and it's like a normal house. Anyway, we got the rooms. This one was Cappins, I believe. This one was uh, whatever that one's name was. The the mom. Yeah, that one. And oh no, they've trapped me. They've both sat down, and now I can't. I can't I can't move. They Who does this? Oh, they're all just sitting down in the hall. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you mind standing up? Okay. Um I got to move some of these guys. All right. Get out of the way. I I got to show the viewers the other rooms. We got uh, the, the grandma's room. Oh, I remember Kappa did a sick burn on the grandma, saying that this coelacanth was as old as her. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Anyway, and here's the, uh, 
uh, the little one's room. And I remember Captain was really jealous about all the Hello Kitty stuff. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> next house. Here we are at the funnest fair, the funnest of all the fairs. It's bright and colorful. Yay, like, I really don't know how to commentate. I just I wanted to <coughs> show you all the houses I made this uh, year, but I don't really know how to commentate. Anyway, <coughs> oh, here's the queue line. Here's the queue line for the ride. Yeah, like, that is the worst part about FUD Fairs. The, the queue line is always way too long. It was a lot of switchbacks. Right. And the ride is the spinning ride. Ooh. Oh, look, we're spinning. I see that. And suddenly there's a city around us now. There wasn't a city around us before. Like, what use would they have? What, <coughs> what use? Like, this, this wallpaper is supposed to be a train wallpaper. But if it wraps around all the way... Then what? How would it ever be used as a train? It looks like it's spinning. It doesn't look like it's a train. Like you'd only use it on one wall if you're in a train. I guess, Unless but you can modify. I feel it like this to go the other way. <coughs> I feel like this is a hard one to to. This is a hard wallpaper to use in a in a home. Yeah, it made me very disoriented. Yeah. It's almost like it's the disorient express. But I'm... Ch oh, no, the futsal fortress. Oh, I was hoping there was something about futsal. Yay. The fastest growing sport in... I don't know. I think that's pickleball, actually. Do you have a pickleball-themed island? No. Anyway, we have some relaxing foosball out here. I don't even know why I added the foosball. I mean, like, it's a... Not even foosball. Like, it's a mini it's, version of futsal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. Anyway, uh, here's our foot, fo futsal game. Uh, yeah, right. I was, uh, I was thinking, weren't... I, I I remember from the long description of the rules that there are like two coaches or two I mean two referees, so I was wondering where the second one was. And then I remembered, oh, it's Jitters, it's Jitters. Jitters was the second one. Anyway, we have some creepy children playing this game. Like <laughs> these children are kind of creepy. I mean, stare this thing directly in the eyes and say it's not creepy. You yeah, see? you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally impossible. Right, here we are at a basket-themed vacation home. I completely forgot this existed. I I still don't really know what I did with this house. Like, baskets? <laughs> baskets! I, com I completely forgot this one existed, and <coughs> I did... I did... I... I... I don't even remember this. Okay. Ooh, look at that! There's some state-of-the-art baskets in here. Okay, just a cozy little house. That's it. That's all I did with this vacation home. Really? Oh, oh. look at that. There's oh. some baskets. Basketball, of course. I, I always have to add a little bit of a twist to, to my vacation homes. I, of course, I had to add some basketball. Oh, and she's prepping. She's preparing for the game. Like, this is... <laughs> how are these people even seeing the game? <laughs> I could tell that they paid not very much money for for those seats. I mean, there's... Uh, how... What are these seats? They're not even... They're, <laughs> some of these wallpapers are just so weird. In this... <laughs> half in order to get this the, like in order to get the, these seats half of your body has to be severed off they're only there for the root beer for the root beer okay oh look at that guy he's pumped look at that guy anyway some of these wallpapers are just broken all oh, right this one this one was to celebrate me getting a hundred subscribers 
and I actually have 700 uh, subscribers now. Almost three more subscribers until 800. Ooh. So if you want to subscribe... Do it. Anyway, let's actually look at this house. Uh, <coughs> we have a lot of bugs, because I like bugs and a lot of fancy stuff. And a scorpion, of course. Scorpions, scorpions are like super cool. I I like scorpions. There's nothing quite as great as a good scorpion. And to prove my point, <coughs> uh, my my throne room is filled with scorpions and a big Jack's Junction sign. Ah, uh, this brings me back. Right, isn't this supposed to be a vacation home? I kind of just did it as, like, mm -hmm. for me. Anyway, uh, I think this guy's supposed to be my, like, butler or something. That's that's how I justified giving myself a vacation home as celebration for 100 subscribers. Anyway, only two more. Uh, who lives, who dies, who the place to tell my story. Yay, let's do it. How did he get back there? Eugene, how did you get back there? Anyway, um, yeah, not really much to the outside of this uh, vacation home, is there? Like, I've noticed there's not a lot to a lot of these vacation homes. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, a f like a kind of like a photo studio, right? Like, some of these I just completely forgot what I did with them. And, of course, he has a shrine to himself. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I was a little bit obsessed with putting shrines in the attic. <coughs> anyway, there's one more vacation home. Do you know what that is? Uh, is it mine? No. There's one more. Is it about Futsal? No. It is a pirate secret hideaway. Ooh. Yay. Arr, man the cannons. Boom, boom. Sea monsters. Oh no, look, there's a sea monster. Boom, a boom. Wow, it's come up. Right. Anyway. <coughs> so yeah, this was the last one. We didn't actually make that many vacation homes in year three. We actually didn't do that much in year three. But hey, there were no new updates. I guess there's not really much to do. Anyway. Yeah, it's... It sure is a vacation home. Anyway, that's all the vacation homes, and thus, that's all I wanted to do for this special. A little trip down mem- Now I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> a little trip down memory lane. Anyway, like usual, we'll be doing a montage of the best moments for this year of Animal Crossing. Here it is. And in this episode... It is exactly two years since Animal Crossing New Horizons came out. And we're... You know what I think of? We have a bunch of tarantulas and oh god, they're all looking at me like they want to kill me. Right, uh, I think this is gonna turn out great. I'm gonna bite the bullet, do the wasp. That's the, that's the new dance craze that all the kids are doing. Bite the bullet and do the wasp. Okay, just whatever, I want a wasp. Anyway, one last exhibit, and this exhibit is going to be the kangaroo exhibit. The froggy chair revolution has been enacted. We will, uh, 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 uh cut, cut, go to the commercial break. Are you tired of, wait, we don't have a commercial break. Well, just go to something. Enjoy this lovely clip of a tarantula dancing. And there- Wait a second! What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be there! You're supposed to be on the other- 
This is a catastrophe! The the bell cricket is not anywhere near his enclosure. The ants are broken, and now this... Why did I have to make another zoo? The first zoo worked perfectly. Oh, no. Dang it. Uh, I would... Uh. Okay. We need to think about a tactical plan. I just encountered him. So, okay, so... Okay, viewers, we need to we need to come up with a plan. I distract him by doing a weird dance, and then you sneak up behind. Oh right, this is a video. You can't actually interact with it. Uh, uh, I guess the plan is wrong. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll talk to him. Oh my God, it's the famous Bunny Day Tarantula. I've been wondering when you'd show up. Famous Bunny Day Tarantula. I mean, like, you show up every year. Actually, you don't. You haven't shown up until this year, but whatever. I'm getting off the point. Bunny Day Tarantula, I'm gonna need you to come with me. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is taking a while because uh, it takes a while to catch tarantulas because uh, they're kind of sensitive. So, yeah. Sorry this is taking so long. The, the waiting is over. I caught the official... Funny day tarantula. Look at this. This looks so good. Now put them side by side. Wow, it looks it looks like a high a more high definition version of the city folk version. Now put the city folk music above it. If you grew up with Animal Crossing City Folk, uh, you just had a wave of nostalgia. Okay, uh, so, uh, I accidentally pressed looking at the button to look at other people's creations by accident, and then I got this. She murdered people. Okay, and it, whoever that is, he looks really happy that she murdered people. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I should trust Lottie anymore. So, we need a main course. Uh, sandwich. Soup. <laughs> Uh... Veggie quiche. Veggie quiche, okay. Pirates love quiche! <laughs> okay. That could be the name of the episode. Island superstar Jack is also celebrating a birthday today! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes, I checked my calendar twice! Oh, can't argue with that. Now when I say go, hit A, and smash open your piñata. It's just like blowing out a candle. Yeah. Because you hit A. Okay, get ready, and go! Yeah! Bash, 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 <laughs> bash, bash. Smash it good. Rah, 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 rah. Swing. Go for it. Swing. Rah, rah. Go for it. Smack it. Give it your all. Smash it good. Smack it. Yeah. You did it, kiddo. I did it. And your prize is floor food. On the floor. Yay! Oh, you get the little dust in them. So, uh, I want fireflies to light up the night sky at my fun fair. So, I'm gonna need some more fireflies. Boom. And that is all the fireflies ever. A futsal fortress! Jitters. Okay, can you first explain to me what futsal is? I'm glad you asked! Futsal is an association football-based game played on a hard court smaller than a football pitch and mainly indoors. It has similarities to five-a-side football and indoor soccer. Futsal is played between two teams of five players each, one of whom is the goalkeeper. Unlimited substitutions are permitted. Unlike some other forms of indoor soccer, it is played on a hard court surface marked by lines. Walls or boards are not used. It is played with a smaller, harder, lower bounce ball than football. The surface, ball, and rules favor ball control and passing in small spaces. The game emphasizes control, improvisation, creativity, and technique. You know. Yeah. The name Futsal comes from You have a different vibe about you. Have you been having adventures without me? Oh, uh... 
Well... I'm too lazy to do a flashback. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Island Superstar Assistant is also celebrating a birthday today! Happy birthday! My thanks, Isabel. Okay then, you good? Ready? Steady! Here we go! This is it! Start! Get it, y'all! Game on! Bash it good! Rah, rah! Go for it! Four! Rah, rah! Four! Bash it good! Rah, rah! Four! Bash it good. You did it! It broke! And what prize has Lady Victory awarded you, Pinata Slayer? Wow! Floor food! I mean, birthday cupcakes! <laughs> Hello, so a YouTuber named Purple Cats actually made an animation for Assistant for his birthday. So, uh, if you want to watch that, I have put a link in the description to that. Let's get that video to 50 billion views. Island Superstar Mom is also celebrating a birthday today! Whoa! Yay! Now when I say go, hit A and smash open your piñata. Okay, get ready and go! Smashing piñatas is very similar Sweet. to... Or bash it good! Smack it! Game on! Bash it good. Bash it good. Game on! Smack it. Kind of got in interrupted there, but I was trying to say smashing piñatas is very similar to blowing out candles. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Mom. You got some good hits in. Yeah. And look what was inside. Birthday floor cupcakes. Floor cupcakes. Cupcakes on the floor. You get those dust particles, all those germs and whatever, whatever Gonzo had on his floor. All of the ants on the floor love them. Huh. It must be very awkward for whoever gets the cupcakes that are a year old. That's true. Ten of the cupcakes got knocked out of a piñata under the floor today, and one of them got knocked out of the piñata under the floor one year ago. It's Cupcake, Cupcake roulette. roulette! Let's spin the wheel! Oh, she got a fresh cupcake! Yay, a cupcake! This looks lussy for nom nom. That medicine was amazing. And for helping a friend in need, you have received the friendship medal and got an thanks. apron! Here's an apron. <laughs> Wait, why am I getting uh, this? It just seems that? like your kind of thing. What are you doing? Oh, learning how to cook? Oh, is that what he wants me to do? He's forcing me. It's my birthday mm. and I'm being forced to cook? <laughs> they're giving me mixers and aprons <laughs> and now they're making me <laughs> cook? Hey Goofballs, and welcome to episode 459 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, it was my mom's birthday, and we did a cupcake game show. And in this episode, it is actually the three-year anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Brings a tear to my eye and joy to my heart. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. And in the next episode, <coughs> I don't really know what we're going to do, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be... This is the beginning of year four. Whoa. Four. Where's my life gone? But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Uh, uh, go, go, bye! You go, give me a pause.
Happy New Year! Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome. Jack, how can you do that? You're showing Rod's booty on your channel. Uh, okay, I'll censor it.